Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great summer so far. Um, yeah, so I tell you, things have been so crazy recently. I've been so busy touring around. It's been great getting to meet loads of you. So if I had met you recently over the past few weeks, then it was great meeting you. Um, I have been getting loads of people asking me how I do my brows and I've been getting loads of compliments on my brows which has been really nice. Um, I did go to a different girl than I normally do to get them shaped and she's taken them ever so slightly thinner than what I'm used to which I think is why I kind of thought well let's kind of change up how I'm styling them. So really I've just been doing more of an ombre so I have been lightening them a lot more in the centre and making them a lot darker on the outside just to give me a wee bit more of a lift and I like that definition to my brows. I do think I've got the bone structure to be able to pull off a sharper brow but it's still quite soft because it is lighter in the middle. So if you want to see how to do that then stay tuned um, and if you do like what you see then you know hit that subscribe button below, get me on Instagram and please do comment below. Um, I always try and get back to you on all of my videos so um, yeah, if you've got any ideas for me of, of what you want to see then definitely comment below or, or just send comment on Instagram. So obviously with an ombre brow, the whole idea behind it is that it looks a lot softer but you've still got the definition because we're a lot lighter in the middle and then we're getting darker and more defined as we get to the outside of your brow. Um, I know a couple of years ago, especially in the UK, the trend was that we had these big scouse brows and it was like a right angle in the middle of your face that you could park a car between and then it was like really, really sharp. But thank god the brows are a lot softer now in the centre. So what we need to do is we just lighten off the centre of your eyebrow. So the way that I do it, because you'll see my brows are quite dark naturally, so I just go in with a wee concealer. I'm just using the NYX HD concealer, but whatever concealer you are using underneath your eye area, just use the same one, okay? So I'm taking a wee bit of the concealer, I'm just sweeping it in backwards motion, so I'm sweeping inwards so that I'm really getting the product in about the root of the hair. And I'm only taking it around the inner part of the brow. And then I'm using a wee spoolie, so just literally a wee brush. And I'm brushing upwards. And whilst I'm brushing upwards, I then just continue to the outside and brush the entire brow upwards. So as you're brushing that up, you are taking the excess product off so that you're not actually getting left with too much concealer in the center there. It should just cling to the hairs enough that it looks a bit lighter, a bit more natural. What we then need to do is start by defining the brow. So I'm going in with the Anastasia Dip Brow. Um, and I'm going in with dark brown, but it's completely up to yourself. Um, Longcom do a great brow gel, NYX Cosmetics do a great brow gel, the new Benefit brow gel that's out. I just find brow gels are a lot easier to work with. And my favourite brow brush, like my... Oh my god, for years I was literally just using the Elamasca brow brush, and then very randomly I got the Zoeva um, brush set from Beauty Bay. And this brush, their wee um, brow line brush, literally just sat in my makeup brushes for about six months before I even looked at it. And then I was like, oh god, it's like you'll see it's a lot shorter and it's really hard so that way I'm, I can get that real sharpness underneath the brow. It is a great brow brush, you should give it a try. And what I do is I keep a wee cotton pad um, that's just wet with a wee bit of eye makeup remover and I always wet my brow brush with a wee bit of eye makeup remover or a wee bit of water just because I find that when I then go on with the dip brow it kind of thins it out a wee bit so that I get a lot more sharpness and I get a lot more play with the product before it dries in really. So I'm just working a bit onto the back of my hand and this is where I'm going to keep coming, I'm going to keep coming to the back of my hand when I'm working that product right into the bristles of the brush. 
Because this is something where people go wrong. I think a lot of people kind of work from the, from the jar to the brow. But if you're going straight from the jar to the brow, you're not getting the product onto the brush and you're not getting that real thin sharpness. Do you see that? See how thin it is if I turn it to its side? There's no splaying or anything like that. So I'm then just going to do a really sharp line right along the base of the brow and I'm going to be starting around the arch, okay? So by starting around the arch, it means I'm going to get the perfect direction for my brow. And because I've got the most amount of product on my brush just now, that's why I'm starting on the outside, because that's where I want to be the darkest. And then as I'm working, most of the products come off onto the brow anyway. So I can start working along towards the centre. So that it's going to be a wee bit lighter anyway. I'm bringing that along just to meet the arch. So you see instantly that starts to give me that de definition and shape to my brow. I'm going back in with a wee bit more product from the back of my hand and I'm going to start working around the arch on top. So I'm starting on the outside. I'm bringing my line down to meet the bottom line. And I'm extending my brow out ever so slightly. Now this is a wee trick that I've figured. Obviously your brush is angled, yeah? So when I'm coming to the arch on my brow on top, I see a lot of people get it too sharp. So we just a wee trick that I do is I hold the brush flat to my brow and then just around the arch, I then press in and pull downwards over the hair. And I find it then just gives me the perfect amount of arch and definition there without it looking too pointed before I very lightly start working a sharp line along the top. Now do not at this point go all the way into the middle. I'm going back to that cotton pad and I'm taking nearly all the product off of my brush so that I'm left with a nearly clean brow brush before I then go into the centre and work along. So again I'm keeping my brows darker on the outside and I'm getting the definition on the inside of the brow but it's not as dark. Does that make sense? Sorry I feel like I'm proper like stumbling along today. I'm then going back to my hand, more product and I'm just filling in the brow on the outside here and then very lightly, very very lightly kind of flicking so that we're starting to gently colour in and blend the concealer into the darker part of the brow because we obviously don't want that split of colours we want to kind of blend in together in a perfect ombre. Underneath if you do have a wee bit of a sharp line you can kind of press and flick the product upwards just so that you're blending that out. And already we've actually got a really nice brow, we've got a really nice ombre going on. I just want to darken it ever so slightly more on the outside so all I'm going to do is my mascara um, I would then at this point do my mascara but I've already got it on and then I'm just onto those outer hairs I'm talking like past the arch lightly skimming a wee bit of mascara to grip the hairs and then I'm going in with a black eyeliner and just catching that point and I'm going to finish just by going back to my spoolie and brushing everything upwards and voila there you have it you've got a perfect ombre brow where we're lighter in the center 
start to gradually get darker and sharper on the outsides. So it's soft but it's defined and it's totally on trend at the moment. So thanks for watching guys. If you like what you see, you know, subscribe, um, comment below, give me an Instagram, so on, so on, so on. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.